All right. Finally time to do the missions. I know there's some pretty cool stuff, as you can probably tell from the title. And I've been putting them off just to make sure spoilers were as avoided as possible. So we're gonna we're gonna get into this. Is this how you start them? It must be. All right, and away we go. Taking a swim in a fancy lodge you're staying at for free. Life can be good when you least expect it. Volume good for rivers expect, audio. Is weeks of nothing but relaxation and hunting. Who could that be? So this is the take the walkie talkie thing that it says. That was actually kind of like the spatial sound was good. Before I picked it up and continue things, Mel, thank you for the 30 months. Welcome back and we'll jump into the main screen. Interesting, I find you here playing a game. No way. I wouldn't do that around here. River Knox here. Hello he does there. sound different, doesn't I see he? You're enjoying the pool already. I you can see? Sorry. Who is this? Let me introduce myself. I'm Andy, the owner of the lodge. Hey, K Flow. The security system notified me that you'd arrived and I had some cameras set up, so I just took a peek. That's not weird. Wait. You are the Andy? The one and only. I can't believe it. The author of Tiny Stars in a Wolf-Eyed Sky is talking to me? I can't believe your grandfather had the nerve to reveal my real name. Wait, he did tell me that the owner of the lodge is the author, but never mentioned your name. I forgot how long these he things were. You wouldn't be here anyway. Just please, keep this to yourself. You can count on me. As your biggest fan, I'd never do that. You know the saying, never meet your heroes. Technically, we haven't met. Yet. <laughs> well, What's going on, here's Danny? the thing, dear biggest fan. Oh your my. grandfather contacted my assistant to make an arrangement that involves another guest who should be coming soon. Imagine my surprise. Hey, Shadow Wolf, thanks for I becoming a super shooter. No oh, four months. Somebody else was coming. He's lying to me. Welcome back. Person. Shadow shooting her bone, by the way, if you hear that. Ah, uh, he really knows how to spice up my vacation. He was worried, by the way. Said he wasn't sure you'd arrived already. I don't have service here, so it's just the walkie-talkie for the next few weeks. Send me on my way to shoot something already. Yeah, well, apparently they'll be arriving soon, and you're supposed to throw an impromptu welcome party. <sighs> Can't I throw a party for you instead? Remember what I said about meeting your heroes? My assistant left you a note in the kitchen so you can make preparations. Preparations, you say? You out, but you better get ready. Call me if you need anything. You don't have to ask me twice. I hope there's not too many but press I E over and over again missions. Welcome to Matariki Park. Why, thank you. Wait, I thought it was Mar. No, it is Matariki Park. Never mind. Saw Mel's bit of this and it reminds me of the Emerald Coast story. I give them credit for not uh, having somebody do a fake accent because I think that's what they did on Emerald Coast. I never did those missions. They were so cringe. Like, I watched Mel's video too, and the, the voice actors were so cringe I couldn't do it. <laughs> Literally couldn't do it. Tips to get a diamond must deer. During time is 8 to 12. Literally all over the map, but in the southeast and the northern ice. It's loaded with them. So I don't have to read that part? Works for me. The assistant signed it in the name of the owner? Hmm. Strange. There's no assistant. Harvest the tar. That's what we're talking about. All right. Time. 10 a.m. That'll be good enough. We go up here. We'll get one. I do a better Aussie accent than those guys. They did stereotypically Australian things good and less stereotypical things that weren't so obvious, not so good. Hey look, Himalayan tar. It's almost like doing these missions after you have the in Oh, those aren't tar. Those are goats. Anyway, it's almost like having the entire map unlocked before you do the missions actually really helps. Think you'll really love these missions? Based on what I know, because Kyla's done them, I know Mel did them. Um, I'm kind of familiar with what trophies we may or may not be encountering during this. I'm excited for it. There's been places in the lodge that I've had kind of picked out. 
Three star mature, is that the biggest one? Two star mature, I thought I saw a bigger one, but mayhaps not. Two star adult, two star adult, all right. Two star mature it is. Tips on staying motivated on Call of the Wild on a great one grind. How'd I end up with the scope? I swear I just changed it. Anyway, um, I mean for me, it was kind of twofold. I have a perfectionist kind of approach to games, so it bothers me in Call of the Wild to not have one of every diamond and one of every great one. It's just something I set out to do. So it, it was kind of just, um, what would you call it? Stubborn determination? But I guess, you know, everybody's going to be a little bit different. It depends on your approach to it. I think a good way to stay motivated is to try, like what I did that really helped was trying to optimize your setup. Don't get bogged down in doing the exact same thing nonstop if it's not efficient. Because what I did for a long time was I refused to make my setup better because I didn't want to waste the time in moving my setup instead of just killing stuff. I was way better off moving the setup and then making the killing stuff part way better. Annoying walkie talkie aside, Way the Hunter stories are 10 times better. I can't say I disagree. I, I have not had a Way the Hunter story I didn't like. All right. Yeah, that was 77%, not bad. One mission down. I got the meat. Thank you. Are you asking for a pat on the head? <laughs> no, I mean, I, I imagine you'd be different. Wow. You imagined a wise old man. It sounds terrible to admit, but yeah. Sort of. Your descriptions What's up, Jacob? are always so vivid. Makes me think you've been through a lot. Who says I haven't? This is an interesting I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm just story approach. Surprised. Well, that's Shadow's the bone just fell. Feeling, is it? So, why did your grandfather send you to the opposite side of the globe? He hates me. He probably thought I was overworked and needed a break. Oh, that. And were you? Maybe. But not anymore. I'm, I'm as fresh as ever. Can you keep a secret? You're already keeping mine, so that seems only fair. I want to leave Bear Den Ranch and open a restaurant. There was a That's restaurant it? thing, huh? Hey, it's, it's, it's been lying heavy on me for the past two months. Get to work, River. She said my name. <laughs> what is that? Oh, a very strangely rendered bush. All right. Take the decorations, I can do that. First stream I've ever caught, welcome on in. I apologize for not talking quite as much, but talking over the walkie-talkie just seems rude and frankly a little bit unwatchable. <laughs> you might be on to something there, Maverick. Wow, a lovely blue kind of takeout box. Oh, do I get to put them up too? Great. I love pressing E, oh, nice, <laughs> over and over again. The sound effect. Hey, wait, 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 wait. What are you about to do to my mouth? Do those stay there? I don't want them to stay there. Where was the other one? Okay. Nice. I think this is more than enough. Those better not stay there. They block the view of my favorite mouth. <laughs> Read instruction. Oh, do I get to cook now? I am a amateur restaurateur. Wow. Bring the food basket. Okay, I'm not sure about this. That did look like meat, though. Light the... Yeah. Cook it outside. Got a five-star tar? Nice. What's up, Eastern? The weekend was good. For the first time in a couple of weeks, I actually had Sunday off. Like, I got all my stuff done on Saturday, so it was good to just chill yesterday. For, yeah, quite a while now, Sundays I've been busy recording and stuff because I haven't had everything done in time. I guess that's supposed to be, like, charcoal on top? Or move the rock pile. Eh. These rocks? No. Oh. No, it was that. Okay. Have six five-star tar. I think I have two. That's wild. Do I win? A pat on the head and, well, I'm gonna admit, you did a good job. Welcome the what guest. Are your on the hangy? 
Definitely hard to prepare. Couldn't have done it without you. Without me? Oh, that was probably my assistant's doing. There is no assistant. I think they're already here. What? The spatial sounds very good in this game. Like, I don't know if you saw me look around like that, but that was because I could hear the sound exactly where it came from. What the? Launch. And for nothing. Must have been the wind. That was okay. Am I now a new character? The guest is Jackie from Aurora Shores. I broke something because I'm not doing this. Losing half of my baggage is not a big deal. Having no sleep after a 22 hour flight with two layovers is not a big deal. I'll enjoy the hell out of this vacation. Nothing can stop me. This is kind of a cool approach to the story. I didn't know about Jackie? this. Is that you? Where are you? <laughs> Whoa! Slow down, cowboy! I can't believe you're the mystery guest. Surprise? What's up, Ethan? Oh, man. I was really worried my grandfather was coming. I thought he liked his grandfather. What, what the heck? It's a long story. Anyway, I, I haven't seen you in a year. We have a lot of catching up to do. Just maybe give me a minute? I feel like part of me is still on that flight. Need to get myself together. Sure. What's up, KB? Charge. Hey, one last thing. I heard from Nina that you picked up some weird new hobby. Ah, oh, this it's is the stamps. Nina with the weird new hobby. Talking behind my back. So, what is it? Collecting the stamps. <laughs> Isn't that an old man's hobby? You're an old yes. man's hobby. <laughs> My grandfather might well agree with you there. I'll let you recharge your batteries. I don't think I was supposed to get here that fast. Glorious. Welcome to the collection. Let's get you somewhere safe. That explains the now different stamps I found around. What is it? Inspect. Oh, that would be the sound. Killer. <laughs> Go back where you came from. This is what happens when women get men's jobs. Nice. <laughs> oh, that's the moose, right? From I took this Aurora? With me by accident. I guess the hate followed me to another continent. No, no, no. Nothing will ruin my vacation. What's up, I Kevin? Turn it into a song. Oh boy. Nothing will ruin my vacation. <laughs> oh god. I should go to sleep. Not put the stamp on your forehead? No. Fe feast your eyes on the- Do I gotta go back up there? Ah, jeez. I get so caught up in like... These missions have like a lot of dialogue, so I try to get moving towards the next place, then half the time I gotta go back. Why is it all blurry and weird? <gasps> wow. And he's gone forever. Back to River. Okay. Nice, Gavin. You can find that ready roaming around. That would possibly be why I have that in the title. Back in the base. You won't believe what I just saw. Didn't you want to go to sleep? A big meal. Sleep. I hate them trapping you though. I just saw a white red deer with the biggest rack you can imagine. What? A white red deer? Yes. That's the local <clears throat> legend ghost. I can't believe you saw him before me. You only just arrived. Others spend months, years even, trying to catch a glimpse. He's supposed to bring luck to those who spot him. But I'm allowed and to shoot him eventually? Sorry for making fun of your stamps. It's pretty cool as hobbies go. <laughs> I've heard there's some sort of local tourist attraction where you can collect hidden stamps. Yeah, I looked into it before I came up here. I already collected one. I'll keep an eye out and pick them up if I see them. Thank you, River. Send me to shoot things, please. Okay. So sleep is for the weak. Oh, shush. That was just the adrenaline talking. See you after my beauty sleep. Seven days minimum. 
A what, Maverick? Check out the cookbook. Yes, this is what I want to do. I guess that probably is going to lead me right to go and shoot something now. That's my guess. I assume the mystery guest was a success? Yeah, Jackie's probably the best person I could have asked for. Glad to hear it. She's crashing at one of the cabins far from the lodge and wants to sleep straight away. If you don't want to get out of shape, I have a suggestion. Would you kindly deliver something for me? It's not meat, though. I'm in the antler business. Well, that works, too. Antler business? I make chandeliers out of them. And I've heard there's a herd of sambar deer with beautiful black antlers. Ah, I know this mission. I must get my hands on them. So you write and create chandeliers as a side hustle. Another unexpected fun fact about your favorite author. A Actually, roster? Not that unexpected. I always thought you had some hunting experience. That short story of yours where the antlers start to grow out of the old man's body? What? <laughs> the description of the antlers' structure, the way they merge with the human bones, the level of detail is insane. Intriguing. Well, thank you. My number one fan. Can I send you the location? Please. I'll even throw in some Manuka honey to sweeten the deal. Manuka? Isn't that like the gold dust of the honey world? Did this have to continue? I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'll send you the location. Yes, you will. Yeah. I can already picture the slow roasted venison meat glazed in honey. Oh, God. Seems like if you don't shoot something, you're about to explode. I just hate being trapped in the lodge for those things. Like, I really wish they'd let you roam around outside the lodge while you're going to have those conversations, because it sure would be nice to be able to even, like, find the next thing you're going to shoot. Might be a five-star sandbar. I believe that is by design. So we are going to take our time. Guessing that's them spawning right there, or no? No, those are other ones. Anyway, uh, I don't have a five-star sandbar yet, and would like one. Anyone know why you can't mount rabbits on this map? I'm not aware of that. You shot a five-star rabbit, right? Could. That's right. Yeah, the little tiny platforms you can't put the rabbits on. Yep. Yeah, maybe they're lacking. I'm for the. Maybe they're lacking some, uh, like, mount options, whatever they call them, diorama options. I have a restaurant at home that has fake antler chandeliers hanging above you. Wait, what? The five star is part of the mission, that's what I thought. <laughs> Determined to ruin the surprise. <laughs> Fortunately, I know what's coming from most of this. So do they all have black antlers? Because if there's several, I'm shooting several. You can only mount female rabbits. Which ones make five star? Because they should be the males, right? Andy is not who she seems. Okay, don't spoil that part, because that I do not have the answer of. I know most of this, I do not know that part. Only watch Mel's playthrough as well. Uh oh. Did I spook the things? I may have spooked the things. If I did, it won't be a big deal. Uh. So, how come these sambar deer have black antlers? The darkening is a result of a chemical interaction between the deer's blood and tree sap. When their antlers are covered in velvet, they contain a substantial amount of blood. As the velvet sheds, traces of blood remain on the bone. If a buck rubs his head on a tree before the blood dries, or it combines with the sap, resulting in a stain and a deeper coloration. This is why chocolate and white tail are amazing. Do about this? If it makes you more comfortable, I'll let you pretend I'm a wise old man. Can't do it anymore. And he's your grandpa. <laughs> Why? Maybe I did spook them, because this is such an odd... Unless they're right down over the hill, normally the spawns are dead center. Well, those are sandbar, but I don't see a giant. Oh, never mind. Yeah, I think that uh, three-star that I think might get to five isn't going to get to five. That one's 
way bigger than the one that that we have. Why do I feel like the UTV is quieter than sprinting? It's not. Um, Michael explained this in their Discord. So the way that like the spooking mechanic and everything works, it's like a. Uh, oh, what's the word I want? It's a like a continual process. I'm really struggling for the correct way to describe this, but essentially like you're constantly making noise and like there's an invisible meter, let's say, of how alert the animal is and how much of that noise you've made. When you're in a UTV, you're moving faster than that meter can fill up and therefore you get closer than you're supposed to be able to get. I'm going to be really annoyed if they spook. It builds up. Yeah, uh, that would be a much better description than whatever I just did. If he turns... It's not like we need to spot him. If he turns broadside, I'll shoot him at 400. There should be one porter with, like, multiple... things. Kylo has hers mounted somehow. This is where you got your two five stars. So is this a good sandbar area generally? He is just determined to not give me a good shot. Not sacks? Is that, is that the correct way to say that? What's going on, man? Greetings from Spain. Out of curiosity, there we go, five star mature. Is, uh, if you're familiar with Call of the Wild, is Quattro Kalinas, like, true to form or not? No score than a nice Jaguar. Uh, there's no collar for Sandbar either, so we literally just have to sit here and wait. Seems the Mission 5 Star duplicates is not a generally high fitness area. Oh, how strange. It does look pretty darn impressive though, I gotta say. They... I think they nailed the Sandbar deer. Just like IRL hunting, why would he give you a good shot? The amount of time spent doing this. Like, holding breath, then waiting. And then he takes a step, holds your breath again, doesn't turn broadside. I was editing uh, the next real life hunting video that's coming out probably this weekend on Meat Hunters, and I uh, just refelt this whole, like, scenario playing out. That exact thing that I was just talking about. Animals have minds of their own, that they do. There we go. <laughs> Not bad. They're pretty tough. I'm surprised that is the drop. That's just the SM12. Imagine getting to shoot something so big, but you've already committed to giving away the antlers for a chandelier. I'm curious because I do know you can tax this. So I wonder how they get around that or if they just kind of don't explain that part because surely if they're going to have you shoot something that's for a chandelier obviously you're going to want to tax it because it's a five star i think we're about to find out what's up squirrel dip 30s in here as well welcome on in if you come back to this location later before you finish the story the game glitches and swans a second identical five star with the same score in jeans and weight i don't know if i should i feel like if i know it's a glitch i shouldn't do it but i i, I can't say i'm not tempted No explanation? That's fine. Maybe it's a replica. Why wouldn't his head be in one of these grassy patches that I can't get a good photo with? Alright. 98.6%. What are the odds they chose body temperature for that? 495. So if I just then tax this... Very nice rack. <laughs> Interesting. Just gonna jump back while she's talking. Can't fast travel. All right. Back to the lodge. And your friend, Jackie. Is she some sort of police officer? Oh, Jackie? She's a wildlife trooper. How do you two know each other? Uh, it's a story I'm technically forbidden to tell, but uh, ah well. She and her friend got lost in Nez Perce Valley, and I sort of rescued them. It wasn't a big deal. Right. 
They're both wildlife troopers, so they were embarrassed to death about getting lost. But it was a stormy night. Could have happened to anybody. What's up, White Raven? Still, don't tell Jackie I told you. Don't worry. That's kind of dismissive. I think we might smoke that before we go back. Ask if your buddy if your buddy is a cop. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. What's going on, Ballistics guy? Or is in here as well? Welcome on in. Just found a one-star young wood bison. Ooh. I just randomly remembered our Fallon deer. I don't think we've done any like resting or anything that would have aged him yet, but that's something we gotta pay attention to doing these missions. What's going on, Fro? We just did the sandbar to your mission. So we just shot the five star sandbar. We're going to take it back to the lodge. First, though, we shot a little white tail for some management. What's an albino? Oh, forgot to add that part. I must have missed the first thing you said. You know what else I didn't do? I didn't mark where that buck was standing. Well, there's some blood, so that'll work. Got some bunny zones. Should be able to fast travel now that she's done. Yeah, I just, I just want to claim this buck. I want to potentially claim this buck whose blood disappeared. We get to here. Oh, and then he just made a hard turn. All right. She's got an albino moose and call the wild. There you go. Nice little 60 percenter. All right, I know exactly where I want to put that. Should I shoot an uneven rack animal no matter what for management? I wouldn't say no matter what. Can you put it in the basement? No. This place has a basement? I'm not a big fan of basements. Are you a little boy afraid of the dark? <laughs> <laughs> not the dark exactly. It... You have to have done the Nez Perce uh, mission to understand that. So... Put it there, no problem. So I basically wanted a match to the Seeker Deer over there. I just think these new pedestal mounts are the best ones you can do. Also, I gotta manage Sandbar because my goodness. Are the, all the five stars like basically that big? How do I get down there again? I have been there. Do you like the 308 over the 270 for tier five? I think the 308's a little bit more powerful, but it's not a huge difference, I wouldn't say. The 270 does a really good job. Low-key missed the days of hunting with walkie-talkies, but texting is so much quieter. Dude, so Aaron and I had walkie-talkies in uh, Tennessee because... Just a basement. Right. Because um, there was no cell service there, and he couldn't operate his correctly, so it just turned oh, into chaos anyway. Just a basement with chandeliers. Snow elephants. Imagine that. How do you have chandeliers down here? Just getting them ready for the clients. Nothing sinister. Right. What did you expect? That I'd lock you up in If that? the lights went off, I'd my heart would no, sink no. real quick. But also, uh, please don't. Maybe later. <laughs> How funny would it be, though, if the lights just went out in here? Not that there are any light fixtures in here. Leave the basement. Glad I can get out. And now we're Jackie again. <laughs> Lost my phone again. Over to Prez Kermit voice. You hurt me too. What the? Nightmare with a deer. There's an elk last you time. Disappoint me, brain. Better get ready. Can I shoot like two trophies and put them in my staying quarters? Get on the trail to the glowworm cave. Two similar species, wild boar, feral pig. Is this relevant? There's a difference. Feral pigs are smaller than boars. Population model. All right, I don't think it's relevant.
Get on the trail. We'll take you, TV. Do you play Red Dead 2? We did an entire playthrough of the story on you Twitch. Up? So yes. Yep. Batteries recharged. I'll get straight to you. Just have one thing on my bucket list. Stamps. Which is glowworm caves. Ugh. What? Are these the things that were I in uh, Surf's Up? You hate worms. That's why I'm not inviting you. But if you want to know, I really don't. Glowworms are actually the larva of fungus gnats. They are carnivorous and catch their prey with silk threads covered in sticky mucus. Glorious. They produce light through their tails using a process called bioluminescence. I told you I didn't want to know. Why do you want to see something like that? Just to keep it's you from using this, beautiful. that's all. Looks like a sea full of stars. No, you just don't want me to be able to use yeah, the ETV. No, I know mean, how it works. I'm good. <sighs> Thought so. Do you like the hunting in Red Dead too? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. We There's a couple of videos on the channel, might only be two, where we did some legendary hunting. I don't know why I'm going to mark a place that has a marker, that was stupid. Although knowing the distance would be nice. It is the glowing things from Surf's Up, look at me. We used to watch that. We didn't have a lot of things to do when we were kids. So like, before bed, I feel like almost every night we just throw surfs up on the little TV in our room. And then fall asleep to that. Hi. Uh, I think I know this herb. Might have been one halfway decent one, but... I didn't even see it. Did you help John or go back for the money? I believe I helped John. I got the good ending, whatever that... I don't remember the details. <laughs> this is a while ago now, but I'm pretty sure we helped John. What's up, White Toe Whisper? Spending the day growing my albino young bison. There you go. Hopefully he turns a little bit better than mine seems to be. Oh, God. <laughs> I looked over at the chat for half a second. I didn't see that we were about to hit the tree, but the sound. Oh, my God. <laughs> kind of want to see if I can have that happen again. The good ending is helping John that I must have. Named it? What did we name it? That's why you don't text and drive? That would... What? This is the... Oh, it's a trail. Visit Glowworm Cave. I can do that. This doesn't look super navigable, but I'm gonna try. Matariki Parker, Te Aoroa. If we were to just pretend... I'm gonna have to walk from here. If we were to just pretend they were in the same game, because I feel like it's kind of unfair to try to compare across two different games, species-wise and terrain-wise and stuff, I definitely prefer Matariki Park. I can say that for sure. Wish I could get into Weight Hunter, just can't hop on and shoot like two things and get off. Hey, there's nothing wrong with that. It's not for everybody, that's for sure. No entry. I don't get to see the worms? Hey, this is a PG stream. I see some worms. Hi, Jackie. It's Andy. Can you help me out? No. Helping people is my professional deformation. And, deformation. Well, my plans got canceled, so I'm all ears. Aurora for sure. Can you go and grab a dozen honey jars from a cabin near you? Sure. Sounds simple enough. Also, do not tell River. It's a surprise for him. So, how are the glowworms? Oh my. Canceled. Oh no. Was their true identity as fungus revealed? Yeah. They're about to assemble Bathe a press conference to deny the claims. <laughs> I have just one more thing on my bucket list. Sure. And hey, what is it with you and your grandfather? Yes, please tell me while I'm I, standing here. I want to quit Bear Den Ranch and start my own restaurant. Oh. Yeah, that might break his heart. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to hear. 
Better get his honey. What? Is that a phrase? That is a kind of decent goat. I'm gonna have to look at that. How far? Just beyond spotting range. Oh god. Um, can we navigate that? Nope. That tree might have saved us. Uh. <laughs> well, we'll come back. Getting the spoilers? Oh. I'm not even at the right cabin. This cabin. I'm almost tempted to just drive down there. Let's see what they make us do. It did not save you? It did not. I've had that happen before, though, where you get hung up on stuff and it does save you. That's a mission thing. So, just oh, deliver thanks. it to the lodge? Yeah. What the? Run, Jackie, run! What? Get out of there. <laughs> what is happening? Why? Run away from the cabin. What if I stay here? Is it just gonna play forever? All right, fine. Are not part mountain goat like, oh, right, I gotcha. What the hell was that, Andy? Did I just steal that honey? <laughs> yeah, but don't worry. The owner's a friend of mine. That did not sound friendly. Yeah, kind of did. I'm returning it. Breaking the law isn't something I do. Nightmares for it's years really for her now. really just an inside joke between me and him. Please, bring it to the lodge. It's a surprise for River. Hey, JTAC. Fine. But you're now officially out of favor tokens, lady. Lady. Okay, um, I kind of want to go check on that goat again. So, we're going to buzz down there. Seemed pretty sus, just a little bit. Oh, wait, am I river now? Well, yeah, never mind. Swing from the chandelier. Hey, okay. good morning. Did you like the honey from yesterday? Oh, you have no idea. But Jackie, she wasn't a big fan. Hey, Gunna. Why? No idea. She refused to even taste it. Hmm. Odd. Anyways, are you free right now? This time, I need the biggest red deer racks you can find for a truly opulent chandelier. On it. Harvest a mature red deer with a trophy rating of two star or more. That I can do, I think, pretty easily. I'm still gonna go check on the goat though. Seconds after leaving the cabin, you hear gunshots? That would have been great. Hello, Jackie. Are you bored? No, not really. I'm observing a group of rabbits and reading your favorite book. Oh, you'll love it. Then you'll stop disliking Andy for whatever reason. That, we'll see. Stuck again. Just wait until you get to the story about the boy serving wine at the war meetup. Hey, Angelic. You'll be speechless. Stop spoiling it! I, I'm not! You literally just did! That doesn't count as a spoiler. And hey, do you want to help me find red deer with big racks? For Andy's chandeliers. Uh, ha, ha. No way I'm helping her. What an odd what thing they have going on me? here. Let me read! <laughs> she likes the book. Thank you for letting me have my UTV. If only I could have gotten here a couple of seconds earlier. Uh. What's up, TJ Gamer? You know... How do we get there the first time? We came down this road? I bet you that would be more efficient. Where did you get your driver's license? Who says I have a driver's license? You don't need those.
So when does the guy from Africa show up, or is it just River and Jackie and Andy's awkward love triangle? Well, Malachi has a daughter and stuff, so he can't be a part of this. Big Mal cannot participate. Do I have the goat marked? I assume I do. I actually can't remember if I marked it or not, but it'll be in that area. What's up, Pine Tree? First time watching you stream while live. Well, glad you can make it in. We are uh, deviating a bit from the current path that the missions have us on because there was a feral goat that looked pretty big. And I kind of want to go see just how big. I think... I'm not sure, but they said something about, like, yesterday in the mission. So I don't know if it passes any in-game time. I don't know if stuff ages, but I want to go and check before I then rest and make things age. Which DLCs are best for me to get as a semi-beginner inter intermediate player in Call of the Wild? Uh, I'd probably get, like, the Hunter Power Pack for a weapon... For a weapon DLC. The dogs are useful, but maybe not the best thing to get right away. I'm trying to quickly think through. I'd probably get that Hunter Power Pack. And then, as far as maps go, I've said this a lot, so you've maybe heard me say it, but you can play any map, even if you don't own it, in multiplayer. I'd go to multiplayer, just try out the different maps, pick ones you really like, and maybe consider buying those. Or if you... Enjoy multiplayer enough. I will say multiplayer has its issues, including lots of failing to synchronize and disconnects. You could just play them all in multiplayer and save a little money. That's really steep. No wonder I fell and died. Like you trying to grind. Oh, look, a shiny thing. Dude, I literally... <laughs> whether it's missions in Classic, whether it's, you know, I guess missions in Way the Hunter... Anything I'm doing in Call of the Wild, if I see a thing that I want to go and check on, everything stops and I have to go see what it was. Just the way it works. Lots of hack servers on PC? Yeah, I went to record for Hunga earlier, and I, I would say I had a very successful for Hunga hunt. First server I joined, there was a speed hacker, though. So I left. Three star, four star. Okay, so that's the one that I saw. At least we know maybe there's another three star there. We're probably going to want to come back here. That's a three star. There's a lot of big ones. Two star adult in there. One star adult. All right. Back to whatever we're supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to be doing? Harvest a red deer, right? Don't drive next to me, a multi. No promises. Your driving is immaculate? I, I am a uh, professional UTV driver extraordinaire, actually. Ducks. I don't think those are usually here. So we're a little past Red Deer drink time, and I'd kind of rather not just rest to a new day. So I'm going to check up here. If there's not Red Deer right here, I'd probably rather not hunt around for him for 12 years, so we'll rest if we can't see him. This is a massive goat hotspot? I did not know that. So do the missions progress time? I mean, like, if I were to rest and stuff, it'll definitely progress time. I'm sure of past missions that have progressed time. I don't know if, like, that thing that I just mentioned before where... Whatever Andy said, like, how was the honey yesterday or something? I just realized there's red deer barking at us. I don't know if that counts as passing a day. So the one annoying thing is, I've got a four-star red deer up here. I'm kind of banking on a particular three-star, or maybe we'll just have a two-star that I don't know about. But none of the red deer are really where I wanted them to be. I hear you. We're just going to scoot over there, and maybe the we'll just happen to be the red herd. Where was that four-star goat? Right by this bridge. I've got like one zone and it's probably not even theirs. So I knew it was kind of good for sandbar or decent. I did not know the goat jeans were so good. Can caribou be mellow? Yes, that's a relatively new rare. New as of like, I don't know, 
four or five months ago. Any chance of a Ranger series? Maybe it's a... It can be a bit of a challenge to make things make sense to viewers when there's no hunter sense and all that. Like, one of the things that having that hunter sense and the HUD and everything do is help to bridge the gap between, you know, like, what I see when I'm recording and what the viewers can see while watching. Because whether it's someone watching on a phone versus me playing on a much larger screen or really there's a bunch of things that make it so that a viewer might not be able to see what's going on nearly as well. Some of that stuff can be really, really useful. So we'll see. Found a one-star young Mela Caribou. Nice. I like how I'm immediately distracted and going over to check on these, but it was a stag. How long does it take for an animal to age in game? Yeah, so while we're actually sneaking up here, somebody asked that earlier, but I think some one of the characters was in the middle of talking. So, one in-game year is past when you go through three in-game days. So, essentially, if you rest three times to a brand new day, so you like resting from 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. does not pass a day. But if you rest from 4 p.m. to, well, let's just say 1 a.m., when you pass midnight, it's a new day. Do that three times, you'll pass an in-game year. Now, it's important to note you can't just spam rest. Like, you can't rest three times back to back to back immediately. You have to play for, say, like 15 minutes. It's an unspecified amount of time. They've said that themselves. They, they haven't told us exactly how long you have to play. It's not super long, though. If you play, like, say, 15 minutes rest, 15 more minutes rest, 15 additional minutes rest, that should pass a year. This song's a banger. The worst part is I can't hear it. <laughs> My YouTube audio source goes straight through OBS. Do you have a favorite trophy you shot in Wade Hunter? I mean, it's gotta be the Melanistic 5-star moves. That one was pretty cool. Oh. I kind of think that one's going to be okay to take. Like, it's not the greatest thing that we could do, but he is fairly gray. I'm going to do it. It is far from a terrible thing to shoot a future five-star red deer. Of all the species on this map, there will be more. That's an adult, right? The caps bad is today President's Day. I guess it would be, huh? We did get that, right? I kind of never saw him go anywhere. Can't imagine that wasn't a good shot. I have a three-star adult red deer that drinks right next to that campsite. That's where both of the three-star adults I've had, that's where they showed up, right in this spot. It can be a little awkward to check. Okay, so I think he was standing kind of right on the edge of this. Was he this far? I might have messed this up. I thought I saw blood. Or was he by this one? that blood? I could have done way better with this. Nope, that's not blood either. Oh dear. What have I done? There we go. Okay. Blood. Directional blood. That would explain why we never saw where he went, or... It might. What species have you always wanted on Call of the Wild slash any hunting game? Doll sheep and stone sheep, but like classic has doll sheep. So as far as any hunting game goes, um, what's something that no hunting game has ever done? At least that I've played that I want. I don't know if I have a specific one. I'll go with the, the sheep species in Call of the Wild though. 
Favorite species in classic. It's always going to be whitetail. I spent 10 years trying to get a 200 inch whitetail. Finally did it, and I love them no less for how long they made me hunt for them. 76%. That's basically a management stag. We will take that. Can I get your autograph in exchange for getting this red deer? Oh my. Don't you want to get paid instead? Hey, there's our fellow. Your signature is more valuable. Did I tell you I bought one of your signed copies online? For how much? Twelve thousand dollars. I'm not telling you that. Why didn't you write under your real name anyway? I didn't want fame. Vanity's not my thing. Dinosaurs. But you didn't know you'd become famous. I always knew. You can store the deer in the basement. Feel free to use the meat however you'd like. I always knew. Damn. Still a two-star mature. I think we're still then... We have to be in the same cycle. Yeah, I don't think any aging's happened. Alright, back to mission things. You think we'll ever see... Odd in Call of the Wild? Maybe. If they ever do a Texas range, I don't see how you add that without... Um... Without putting Odd on it. Do you have the Hunter Classic Guide? Yes, uh, you search up like Flinter, the Hunter Classic Beginner's Guide or something like that. I basically did a how to, or learn to play the Hunter Classic in 30 minutes. And then there's an advanced tactics, like, I don't know, 16 minute video or something like that. In addition to it. I think in total I did like maybe three or four guide videos, but those two would be the main ones. Let me out of here. Thank you. Oh, okay. <laughs> it wasn't even going to start anything. Feral goat meat pie. Well, I wonder what we're going to hunt next. Made eggs this morning in an electric frying pan as opposed to a normal one. It was way easier and quicker. Really? I think I'm, I'm almost sure my brother and his wife had an electric frying pan on their wedding registry thing. I'll have to ask him if he ever used it. Uh, thank you, Danny, I think. Curious. Is this a real recipe? Probably is. Seems like I have everything apart from the goat meat. But let's go with more than one meat pie. So I get to shoot several goats. 220 pounds of feral goat meat. Well, um, let's go to some junky genetic spots, which would really just be straight up this hill. Because there's no point shooting all those three star matures and stuff early. Watched you and Zaki yesterday when you memed all those wildebeest? That that stampede video is it's got an absurd number of views for like just how memey it was. But it is one of my favorite ones that like just ever sort of happened by accident. How about some feral goat hunting? What? Another favor for Andy? <laughs> no, this time it's <laughs> I can't for me. get out of here. I'll bake you a true Matariki meat pie. I'll come for the eating, but not the hunting this time. The book has me way too hooked. I want to believe that's the real reason. But, Jackie, you'd never refuse a hunt. I'm Vic. Don't mind me. Asian Jackie. Nice to meet you. I even composed a song. Want to hear In a high fence. After that one time I heard you sing, let's just not. Wow. You're lost. No hunting then? In a hunting paradise? With no predators? I love predators. I'm a big fan of their work in animal management. Some of my favorite colleagues are animal predators. Going through a work-related meltdown? What's up, Amber? No. I'm just sick of being treated like a hunting junkie. I mercy killed little socks. People hate me. I also killed hundreds of rabid foxes in a year. I need a break. Forgot Little Socks was the name of that moose. Anyway, what have I missed? So far we've done the five star sandbar mission, so we have a new five star sandbar in our lodge. Uh, we did, I guess we've seen ghosts twice now. What was the other mission that I thought was, oh. Then we just shot the two star mature red deer, so now we need 220 pounds of feral goat meat. 
I'm thinking two goats will do this. Maybe even one mature one, but I bet it's gonna be two. The walkie-talkie talks freak me out, not gonna lie. There's... I always feel this, and I, I... It's very clear why, because... Obviously, the voice actors aren't, like, in the same room when they do this. There's always a disjointedness with the conversations that bothers me. Tab 6 and Enter. You don't have to listen to the walkie-talkie. Shift 6. Is it... What does that do? Like, is it supposed to mute something? I'm just curious. Figures there's going to be no go to this one. We'll just quickly check. Just junky genetics. Otherwise, I'd probably worry about it. Let's go up to there. Or even... See, I know there's goats here, but I don't know where they actually drink at, so we'll move around. It just cuts out the conversation. So, do you still just have to stand there and, like, hold the walkie-talkie? It just doesn't play the audio? I'd like to see more customization for taxidermy slash mounts in Call of the Wild, like having different terrain. Oh, 100%. I don't know when that became a thing that, like, a lot of people in the community started asking for. It's been a while now, though. Like, we have all these different maps, whether it's Medved or, like, say, Mississippi, Quattro Colinas, a more almost, like, summer-ish map. Then you've got the more fall maps, Hirschfelden, um, New England Mountains, desert maps, Rancho and Verhunga, the snow I mentioned, and then there's mounts like the Croc one, where water would make the most sense. I'm sure it's a big undertaking to do all that, but boy, would it be nice. All right, no goats there. It is goat drink time. I'm pretty confident of that. You get on with what you want to do? Oh, really? I feel like for the sake of the stream, I should play it, but that is actually really good information to have. Gotta go. No worries, man. Appreciate you stopping in. Are those goats? Those are tar. And again, the genetics are pretty poor here, so I kind of doubt... That's worth really checking in on super closely. Have you ever collaborated with any other content creator? Yes, uh, Mel and I did a video not very long ago. Obviously, Kyle and I streamed Power World here on YouTube last Wednesday for Palentine's Day. Let's see, I mean, I've done a bunch of collabs over the years, but as far as recent ones, those would be the main two. Seek a deer. Why does it seem like your buggy is just way faster than mine? I don't know. Could it be like the field of view setting that you play with? Usually a higher FOV makes it seem faster. I'm on a lower FOV, I think, compared to most people. Or default, really. But I know a lot of people like to just take their FOV setting all the way up. Well, wouldn't this just be the way? Feral goats are drinking now, right? We just went and checked on those ones at the creek. Yeah, they're drinking now. You telling me they drink at none of these spots? I mean, there are plenty of other spots. I was just hoping... Hoping we can make it simple. Um, should be some up here. Colors with Flinter are fun. Love the one with you and Mel on the UTV? It was genuinely like a desync issue in multiplayer, but <laughs> starting the video with Mel just crashing into the fence twice was so funny. There is a perk that makes your vehicle 25% faster. There is, huh? I kind of forget that all those perks and stuff existed because I unlocked them so long ago now. And you, you just do unlock them all, it's not like you choose or anything. That's a very good point. Really need a new name, thank you for subscribing. I unfortunately cannot help you on the name front, I got no good ideas. Do the feral goats just all despawn for this mission? What's going on? <laughs> like, these are good spots. 
I know they're usually over this hill. If they're not here, I'm gonna give up. Not really, but... Ever lost a valuable animal to private areas? No, but... The way that I approached the game, like, from the moment it came out, I, um... I basically made an effort to... Ooh, four star. Interesting. Anyway, I basically made an effort to, like, immediately work up the money to buy all the private area passes. So don't kill that one. And of course, the ones I want to kill are not broadside. Ah, you cheeky little bugger, you. I almost think we're better off with the 300 because I think we want to kill them both. Ah, that's going to damage meat, though. Two will be enough. There's another male there. That's useful info. There could be good genetics in here. That's the one concern with this, but anything other than that four star. This guy keeps like going broadside when I'm not paying attention. You guys are really good at standing in terrible angles. Oh, that was back. That should work. Uh, maybe I'll mark things this time. So, dead goat there. Wounded goat there. And I think that'll work. Feral goats are in hiding. They really were. It was like witness protection, but goatness protection. <laughs> Accurate, Mel. If you pass time slash A cycle on one map, does it affect the other maps? No. That was something I was really concerned about when the game first came out, so I like immediately tested that. That does not uh, that does not happen, so no worries there. Alright, so let's see. This one, this was the one with the bad shot. We got 96 pounds of meat. We're gonna be real close. Like real close. Because we only shot this other one once, so there'll be less damage. We might be just a little bit shy. In that case, we can manage. A mature would have gotten us there. But we did not have any matures here, other than the four star that I didn't want to kill. That was enough, right? I may have too much meat. Hate when that happens. <laughs> hey, I think I got too much goat meat on my hands. Uh, would you like to have some? I'll get it ready for you. No need. Thank you. Hmm. What should I do with it? Maybe I could send it over to Nez Perce Valley as a gift for Grandpa. Better get some dry ice. Any customs restrictions in the area? No idea. But you can just leave it in the freezer and hey Joe. no harm will be done. Freezing it is, but fresh is the best. Grandpa should know if there are any restrictions. He receives shipments from all over the world. I thought you didn't have cell service. Nah, that was just an excuse not to call him. There's a landline in your lodge. Is Grandpa part of this? Ah, oh, bummer. Are you sure? I gave it a go and the line was live. I'm sure. I'll try it anyway. Maybe it was just a temporary outage. No, don't use it. Okay, uh, if you say so. I sounds like you don't want me to use it. It's just, it's my office and I don't like people going in there. Sure. I'll respect that. And he got the lines? Respect, schmespect. Let's see if it's really broken. Let's see. I'm gonna find out what's going on. I can't fast track really really broken. Yet. Hey, Jackie. Oh, Andy my God. is acting, uh, suspiciously. You don't say. I knew it. What is it? Did she make you steal something too? What? what? That honey you enjoyed. I stole it. What the hell? Yeah, so what did you find out? She was way too weird about me using her landline. Uh, as if she didn't want me looking around her office. My red flag was bigger. Why didn't you tell me? I was embarrassed, and it's just honey anyway. It was Manuka honey. This what? is kind of interesting. Is that, like, special? You know everything. How have you never heard of Manuka honey? Well, I'm glad your opinion of me is so high. But food is more your forte. 
Shit, that's weird. Why would she do that? Why would she? I'll do use that? the landline and then radio you. I better hear from Wallace. Wallace is the man. I like to use Wallace when I play multiplayer. I think it was Wallace when, yeah, when Mel and I did that video. Did I miss anything? Uh, well, we did kill the five-star hey, sandbar for that mission. On you. Oh my. Uh, you want some goat meat now? Yeah, I'll take some now. I'm close to the lodge. Damn it. Call fast. Do you plan on filming any IRL hunting vids? Of course. Actually working on editing one. I was doing that this morning. shouldn't have done that. Of course. I should have known. What? I should have looked into her the moment I got that honey. I blame vacation Jackie. What if River's dead in there? Now River is missing. Calm down, Jackie. Wait. <laughs> Think of your happy place. Screw being happy. Angry Angry Jackie. Works for now. <laughs> I promise I didn't know she was going to say that. River? River? Are you dead? Are you here? Oh. We're here. Jackie, you're looking pretty distressed on the cameras. Is everything okay? Where is River? He didn't tell you. He called his grandfather. He's at the hospital again. What? Yeah, he left in a hurry. Sure, Andy. As if. <laughs> you think I'm lying? Yes. Maybe your wildlife investigator instincts are wrong on this one. Wouldn't be the first time they failed you? Wow. Right? Find the landline. Well, it's in here because that's where it was before. Is he dead? told me how you met. You got lost in the forest. Look at that dog. <laughs> and I did a little research into you. You killed some famous moose back home, right? And now hey, Sable. maybe you're about to make another mistake. Oh, shut up. Disable the cameras. Well, wouldn't that be a grand idea? Oh, you just hit a button and they turn off? Sure. I thought we were gonna like cover them with something. Good, I can't reach that one. <gasps> Why is being short such a curse in my life? What? Oh, there's two. Now they won't get on my nerves. Excellent. Where would I hide something I wouldn't want anyone to find? Is this something someone? Look through the table in the bedroom. Uh, before we do that, Chaotic Puffet, thank you for becoming a Super Schuster. Welcome, welcome. If you're not in the Discord, be sure to join that as well. Link up your YouTube, get the member roll. Take advantage of that good stuff and enjoy the green names and emojis in chat. And also access, or early access, I should say, to every upload. Locked. Don't care. Are we breaking it? Hello? I don't know what this is. It's a... Nice looking sandbar. Isn't that River's grandfather? Who sat next to him? And why was this in a locked drawer? This won't tell me where River is. I like how that cable was cut, but we still have to check it earlier. Look behind the picture frames. This is kind of interesting. What has happened? We're about to find out. Nothing. Okay. Who would have thunk it's behind the last one I'm gonna look at? Nothing. Probably nothing. too obvious, assuming that there's even anything hidden. Ventilation. Oh well. This deed conveys ownership of Andy's Lodge, Andrew Simmons. Wait, Andrew Simmons is 1949. Did this lady kill Andrew Simmons? Wait, 
This says that the owner of Andy's is a 75-year-old man named Andrew Simmons, not a young woman. Oh, God. Christ Christine was the name that that guy was yelling. Wasn't that guy screaming the name Christine during the honey heist? Honey heist. Listings for a real estate agent named Christine Averson. River could be in any of these. This means the Andy I know is Christine? But where is River? Yeah, that doesn't help me figure any of this out. Check through the documents again. Okay. Famous glowworms. Are we going to the glowworm cave now? One of the now? listings she's in charge of is the lot with the glowworm caves. Could it be? Nah. But it's closed. It'd be a perfect place to get rid of somebody. No brainer. Investigate the glowworm cave. Well, we're going back. Too bad I can't fast travel to my existing vehicle. Uh, recommendations on which maps to purchase? We talked about Way the Hunter. This is a pretty good one in terms of like the story and stuff. Um, definitely Aurora Shores is a lot of fun. I don't know. For me, Ticket Moon Plains didn't. It, it didn't capture my attention for as long as the other maps have, but maybe I played that map too much when it came out because I really did hit it kind of hard. And he killed someone trying to sell the park for real estate? Might be. Okay. See if I can drive as well as I did last time. And maybe I will only look at the chat almost as much in Reckless. Hey, Rebecca, how's it going? Welcome on in. We're in the middle of uh, solving a mystery of the missing river, and I don't mean like the Nile. Wish they had non typical racks in Call of the Wild? Yeah, like, I kind of get why they don't. Because. It would be a pretty big challenge to make them unique because the thing about like a non-typical in real life, in all likelihood, is going to be like completely unique from any other one, and that almost means they have to design like limitless racks, which is kind of problematic. Not saying I'd kill someone for land, but if but if I would, it wouldn't be to sell it. <laughs> yeah, right. It'd be to keep it. Woo, that sounded violent. <laughs> yes. Over the trees. That's how you avoid them. I thought I killed this thing for a second. <laughs> I hope you guys can hear that. Houston, we have Lift Dog. Lift Dog? Dang it. That was awesome. It's one of the. I love, like, goofy vehicle physics. And I hope they never fix it in this game. It's It does not make much sense. But the vehicle physics in this game are one of my favorite things. One of my all-time favorite memories. I didn't record it. Like, as far as this game goes. I flipped off a mountain in this thing right when it first came out. And landed on top of a mountain goat and killed it. How are you alive? I'm just built different. Still a four-star. Has aging happened, though? Because I thought they had a different... Like, it looks like their fur changed. I'm unsure. Anyway. Your channel is awesome. I thank you, Bentley. I appreciate that. Alright, we get to see the glow worms, maybe. Do I get to break in this time? That was further than I thought. Might be a dumb idea. But I wish Nina was here. What about the Pinta and the Santa Maria? Find River. River! Sure. That was loud. River! Are you here? Is it just water droplets? That doesn't sound like water droplets. I swear to God, if there's a jump scare in this. I'm gonna be a little upset. Ah. Can I equip a gun? I'm gonna murder her. What's up, Faizu? Am I saying that right? I hope so. Or phase up, potentially. No. Oh, no, no. Blood. Doesn't say animal. Oh, what the? <laughs> River! He 
He's breathing. It's too soon for you. I already made a logo for your restaurant. Just stay with me. So now what? Oh. Oh, I'm River now? Do I get to crawl out of it? Oh, I want to crawl out of there. Shoot the worms? That would have been a good idea. We're just chilling? What? <laughs> Wait. should have stayed a little longer in the hospital. No. No, no. That's not how I'll finish my vacation. I'm perplexed. Better not mention the pain to Jackie. Ugh. This sounds like a crime against humanity. I'm so confused. And food. Let's make it. But no way in hell I'm using canned spaghetti and sauce. What, am I gonna go uh, garden? Elevate it a little bit. Check out the newspaper. T oh, well, this will answer what happened, I think. Reality, I can't even speak. Reality agents, double life exposed luxury listings used for illicit activities, such as like murdering river. Christine Averson's deceptive game unveiled by unlikely hero. Am I gonna read this entire thing? Does it read it for me? Oh, there we go. In a shocking turn of events, Christine Averson, a local realty agent, not reality, uh, once revered by celebrity homeowners in New Zealand has been exposed for running a clandestine operation using her high-end property listings for illegal activities. The revelation came to light when the real owner of a luxurious lodge, the famed author of Tiny Stars in a Wolf-Eyed Sky, allowed a friend's grandson to stay without informing his listing agent. Much to her annoyance, this led to a bizarre sequence of events that exposed her web of deceit. This is longer than I thought. Averson's cunning manipulation didn't stop at mere impersonation. Rather than opting for the straightforward scammer approach, she enlisted the unwitting lodge occupant in her dubious endeavors. Did they use a thesaurus? Good lord. Including a side business of selling chandeliers to her affluent clientele. Each property in her portfolio seemingly served a different purpose. From peddling illegal substances, money laundering, extortion, fraudulent charities, phishing, and wire frauds to identity theft. Good lord. When the unexpected occupant threatened to blow her cover, Averson took drastic measures attempting to eliminate the witness and disposing of the evidence by dumping it into a local tourist spot, a once popular destination now closed for months due to her nefarious activities. The twist in the tale came from came when a visiting wildlife trooper from Aurora Shores, hey I know where that is, Jackie Makovich stumbled upon Averson's dark secrets. Not only did Makovich expose Averson's illicit operations, but she also managed to rescue the intended victim from the depths of the Katu Katu cave. Figures that'd be the hardest word in the whole thing. As the investigation unfolds, Averson finds herself under intense scrutiny. With law enforcement building a case against her, the picturesque landscape in New Zealand, once the backdrop for her deceptive schemes, is now the stage for justice to be served. In a lighthearted jab at the situation, locals are equipping. Be sure you know who your listing agent is before your property becomes a front for illegal activities. What? That seemed like a pointless ending to that. You're not going to say anything? You just read... Alright. Maybe maybe he already knew. Sick of the ear. Well, I know where one is, but I don't know if I want to kill it. Um, actually, I, got, I have an idea. Think your Mela will make five star? No. Uh, so on Friday's stream, we also played this map, and it looks like he's probably going to end up at three or four. He's uneven now. That's exactly how an article would read, though. You're right, you're right. Definitely feels like multiple thesauruses were used. Um, that one Sika up here might be a two-star. I don't, well, I don't know where he drinks, though. I got a hunch. You're not resting as the doctor prescribed. I, I'm, don't mind me. Lying in bed? Can you hear the softness of the sheets? Maybe I shouldn't have destroyed the cameras around the house. Come on, it's been a few days. Since you were stabbed, thrown into a cave, stabbed. and carried out by me? Even so, can you explain a little something to me? Ask away. Who is the real owner of Andy's Lodge? Andy? His full name is Andrew Simmons. He's a good friend of my grandfather's. 
other Andy is Christine, a real estate agent who's been using client houses without letting them know. Impressive. Exactly. Our visit surprised her. Even the hangy and the cookbook were prepared for me by Andrew. She just went along with it. She used Andy's house for her chandelier business. But, sorry. But a number of other listings were used for other purposes. What kind of purposes? Are you back to vacation, Jackie? Hell yes, I am. Then you don't want to know. They're the sort of purposes that made her want to murder me after Grandpa told me that the real Andy is a different person. And how did you end up in the cave? One of her clients owns the land the cave is on. She's been using it to dispose of stuff that shouldn't be recovered. What else was it? there? How did you there? know I was there? Well, what can I say? I have a brilliant detective mind. Aren't you disappointed that you haven't been in contact with your favorite author this whole time? Extremely. Of course I am. <sighs> but Christine was probably right. Never meet your heroes. Hopefully the real Annie will I... stab me and throw me into a glowworm cave. <laughs> You'll never know. I'm upset we didn't get I'll to talk to the lighthouse though. and prepare our last matariki dish for us. Okay, now I need a secret here. Wouldn't it be fitting that I made it seek a drink time and I don't know where those things drink at? Oh. They drink in the water. Anyway, I saw your thing there, bottom boy. Kind of disappointed end of there. It was just getting juicy. I feel like we needed one more mission. I don't know what it needed to be because they're not going to let me, like, you know, shoot Christine or whatever. But I feel like Jackie needed to do, like, one more additional thing to make it have a satisfying ending. Of course you're a one star. All right. Back to the original plan. So up through here is like good, not great secret genetics. Gonna try to find a two star up there. Whale Hunter missions suck. They talk too much. I think they're really good. I think they do a great job of telling the story. They do talk too much. I think if you just, if you weren't forced to have the walkie talkie equipped, if you could maneuver around the map and do stuff, I kind of get why they don't allow that. You know, if you're shooting a gun while in the middle of talking and stuff, that doesn't make sense, but who cares? It's a, it's a game. A uh, thesaurus is a rare dinosaur only found in some synonymous locations. <laughs> You're the goat for Weight Hunter? Well, yeah, I appreciate that. I feel like this game didn't get as much attention as it deserved at the very beginning, so I'm just glad that a lot of people stuck with it, at least through the videos and stuff. Isn't that more of a sandbar area? It is, but I at least find a decent number of sneakers. This is a four star, I think. Are you the four star? Yeah. I don't know if he's gonna make it, but I hope so. Sandbar and goats here. Pretty sure. Unless I'm dumb, which is very possible. No, it's on here. Like, right up this way, somewhere, there are some... Whoa! There are some secret drink zones. Now, that doesn't mean there's going to be a two-star here, but basically, like, the only other spot where I feel like I'm going to get at least a two-star, I'm looking at, like, a three-star mature that I don't want to kill yet. The ratio of animals per map size is, like, four times compared to the base maps? No, I didn't even know that was, like, information that existed. So you're saying this map is four times more populated? Like, per square mile? Giorgio, is that the way to say it? Thank you for subscribing. Hello there. YouTube is good at finding rocks? I am too. I have a really impressive ability, no matter what game I'm playing, to crash into stuff at high speeds. Whether it was Red Dead, <laughs> when we streamed that over on Twitch, obviously this game, I do it in Call of the Wild with the ATV. Um... GTA was a good one. I only streamed that once. I don't even know that I streamed it to my channel. I think I streamed with Vector on his channel. I, I, like, if I describe this, it's not going to sound nearly as funny as it was. But we stole, like, a stupid little minivan thing. And I somehow did this accidental, like, perfect parallel park where I, like, drifted backwards right up next to a 90 degree cut in, like, a hedge. But it was because I wrecked into something and then did that. I always find a way. That's a sandbar. That's a mature sandbar. Ooh. 
Naturally, none of the Zika. I killed a two-star mature in the last video, like right here. <laughs> nice. Is this relevant to be able to do the ghost thing, by the way? It probably is. Call the wild rocks are like Magnus? You're not wrong. Alright. Let me go to the area that I'm thinking of. I just don't want uh, to kill something that we shouldn't yet kill, but sometimes it just be that way. That nose grind was pretty good. I definitely did it on purpose. Finish the story first. Figured as much. You get too attached to Red Dead? Honestly, before I even finished the story, I had every intention of doing like a second playthrough not on stream. Just to, you know, because I enjoy the story aspect of Red Dead and all the interaction and stuff, like the realistic feeling inter interaction as much as the meme around aspect that any Rockstar game is. So I wanted to be able to experience both, but I can't, I literally cannot start another playthrough because I know what's at the end and I don't want to start over. There's a mount for four rabbits? Yes, is it two males, two females? Or is that the Call of the Wild one? Amber, thank you for subscribing. Do a barrel roll? I can definitely choose what I do in this vehicle. Oh, seek a deer. I think so. Are they not here? Oh, they were here. Two star mature. Alright, well, minus the fact that I need to uh, fast travel away so they're actually there. I guess we'll run it this time. I'm going to fast travel just further away in case that matters. Because technically, that wouldn't have left rounder. That's why I get to chapter 3 or 4 and just stop doing main missions? That would probably be a solution to my problem. Like this game better than Call of the Wild? Tried for a month to get a great one. Whitetail using herd management never spawned? At the end of the day, herd management or not, it's still a luck factor, basically. Sometimes that's the way it goes. You don't have to collect money. You only do it once? Yeah, but it's required to progress, isn't it? Do you think rares are more prevalent on this map? I killed three rares in two hours. I haven't had that experience personally. Um, I've shot one albino chamois and I have a melanistic fallow on my map. For me, Aurora Shorts has produced the most. Like I've had, well, I guess Nez Perce kind of, but I played Nez Perce the most. In a very short period of time, I had two melanistic moose and an albino bison spawn. Wish there were more ducks in this game. I just think that they need to make the waterfowl hunting more authentic. Like. If you see a five-star duck, at least for most people, I think, you pull up and blast it with your 300 or your 308 or whatever you have. Because the waterfowl hunting is next to worthless. <laughs> like, you, you, there's no blinds, there's no decoys, none of that. Later, Rebecca. Appreciate you stopping in. I'm probably the first one who gets roadkill. When UTVs came out, we had many a moment on stream where we would just spend significant time running stuff over. On my Clips channel, which, by the way, I need to get back to actually uploading on, there's at least, I think, two or three clips that are just memeing around with the UTV. Hey, Volt. Did you play Red Dead 1? I did not. Kind of the problem, though, was... After the experience of playing through the story of Red Dead 2, I started looking into all kinds of stuff about the game and just, you know, explain why this happened, that sort of stuff. And I now know basically the lore of Red Dead 1, which makes me less likely to want to go and play it. Got a five-star Grey Wolf, nice. Uh, favorite gun in this game? 
There's a couple I really like. I mean, the SM12 has been super reliable for me for a long time. I like that new Monoblock 270. Uh, I'd probably got to give it to the SM12, the, the 300. It's a base game gun, so that, that makes it a nice favorite. Anybody can, can use it. That's the big one, right? Yeah, that's a four star. That's the two, which should be uh, safe to kill. Are there gators in this game? No. That'll work. By the way, honorable mention for a favorite gun, this 308 model block. Another base game one, but it's about as good as it gets. Does hunt rating matter after you tax army? No. What did I do? I My uh, five-star Sika that I shot. Funny as we're going to get one. I was toning in with the bow. And for whatever reason, it just stopped and spooked at like 40 meters with good wind. No idea why it did that. And I didn't feel like calling it again, so I shot it on the run with the 300, I think twice. And I'm pretty sure I got a zero star hunt rating. Looks just as good in my trophy lodge. No, no indication that it was uh, less than five star hunt rating. Can you get great ones? There are no great ones in the game. Can I play as Andrew Simmons now? Oh, it's just in the encyclopedia. Get the meal ready next to the lighthouse. Is this going to be a date with Jackie? Is that what's going on? Dream hunts in real life. Caribou in Alaska. Did you watch Super Bowl 58? I think I watched every single snap. Yep. It was sad yesterday. A Sunday without football, and there won't be any, at least NFL football, for about seven months. What's up, Fluff Bill? How's it going, man? Dishes and laundry should do themselves? Agree. Depending on this map versus the other ones in the game? I think it's... Diversity and stuff, like in terms of the different species and the different, uh, what's the word I want? Like terrain and stuff you can hunt. I could say it's even better than some of the other maps. It has the same problem as uh, Aurora Shores, though, and that is there's a pretty small amount of, like, really good spots that you end up focusing the majority of your time in, and it kind of makes you know, exploring the rest of the map. Beyond the first time you go, you know, you unlock everything, you get all the points of interest, all that, it makes it a little bit pointless. Ugh. At least I have your last winter football bid to the watch, but I already missed the season. Well, you especially should, right? <laughs> um, that last video was fun. It was cool to compare and everything and just kind of talk about all the different the stuff that I kind of was... I've touched on it in some of these videos before, but the whole point of making a pick every week, it was beyond just like, let's see how good I can do. There were some actual reasons behind me doing it. 30 more minutes? Eh, sort of depends on how things go here, but potentially. Nice. Everything's ready. I'll be right there. Taste the abomination. I told Grandpa about the restaurant. How did he react? I don't know. The moment I told him, Christine stabbed me. <laughs> At first, I thought it was just the relief of finally telling him. <laughs> you didn't call him from the hospital? He texted me telling me to get better and asking the name of the restaurant. And what's it going to be? You didn't like my brilliant idea. <laughs> Why should I call my restaurant Jackie's? Because my name is pretty. It is, but I'll think of something better. I'm trying to think of a river pun. I don't know.
Well, that was cool. <laughs> I think I have the name of the restaurant. Ghost something. Ghost on toast? Is that a squirrel? Yes. That was a squirrel. Finish the story on Matsuriki Park. Just got that achievement. Alright, so I know you gotta go to a certain place at a certain time, and frankly, I forget the exact place, but I know the area. Where did you get a water bottle? You can't have that. <sighs> Crisis averted. Beans on ghost? Perfect. Where's pizza when you need them? Alright, no mission. Let's get that. So, am I late? Uh, you haven't missed potentially the most interesting part of the stream anyway. We are about to go and try to take down Ghost. I know a trick on how to get a five-star animal. A trick, you say? I think you gotta make it like 10 a.m. So 940 will work. Do you think it'll be a five? I think it's supposed to be, but I believe somebody killed one that was a four. So I don't know. I also don't know exactly where he's going to be. I seem to recall, like, Mel told me a while ago when she did the the missions, but I can't remember exactly where it was. Don't boast about Ghost. Uh, I don't know why that Super Chat's taken 12 years to come through, but there it is. Danny, thank you for the Super Chat. I mean, if the food is bad enough, Rivers runs. Oh my god. I sent you the location. I can't find it. I looked through our DMs and I cannot find it. Did you send it in the group chat by chance? I asked you earlier, but I assume you were in the stream, so. Is that the Mela? That is the Mela herd. I know, you can't have the water bottle, I'm sorry. Come here. Literally just now? What? Oh, is it in... Where? On Discord? If you did, nothing came up. Oh. What the? That's weird. It didn't... It wasn't shown in my DMs. Okay. So, I'm way too far... North. Come here. Come here. You got cheese and you're crying? Oh my. Come here. There we go. Alright, you're not... I think I see him. I see something white. Oh my god. I was too busy dealing with Shadow. Oh, that's an albino whitetail. <laughs> Two star mature, so we just kill him? Because I don't know how long that's been there. There's a bunch of fallow deer. It's not, so a two-star mature can't get to five-star anyway, so I don't see a reason not to take that. He looks good. I just wish I knew. I don't know, he's a two-star. If I had any clue how old he was, I would just leave him for another cycle, but that is what? 240 yards? No, don't trot. Oh God. <laughs> He trotted right when I shot. That might still kill him, but we may need to go hit him again. Do a DD33 commentary when you kill Ghost? We'll see. Why are you using that old scope? I don't know. Like, when I equipped it, it automatically put it on there. You gonna take Ghost with a bow? Probably not, since it's a mission animal. I don't see the necessity. So are albino red deer a thing on this map, Mel? Because I actually haven't seen anybody post one. I've been assuming they could happen. Let's see. If it was a gut shot, it'll kill him. If not, I'm guessing well, those were fallow deer. Well, let's see. Blood is where? It hit him, I know that much. Figures there's a zone literally right here. 
That'd be his zone. That blood there. Uh, animal survived. That's probably good. Minus the fact that now we gotta find him. So I think Ghost is supposed to be... And maybe we spooked him too. Hmm. <laughs> this could be intriguing. Dev said there are, but I think their bug has not have been shot. That's what I was thinking. Like, I haven't seen a single one posted anywhere. Okay. Oh. What did we spook there? One random fallow deer. So it seemed like the whitetail went... What the... Oh, there's my UTV, 1,200 yards away. Anyway, I thought the deer went more like this way. You can't really track him. Oh, not hard to find when he stands out like that. Let's try this again and maybe make a better shot. I hunt chili in the canned food aisle. Hey, we use canned chili all the time and it's glorious. Add some venison to that. And down into the trees. What's up, Clay? I think you spooked him. I had an albino doe in that white tail herd. Really? Intriguing. There's a red deer. Is he just by himself? Dang. It'd be really cool if that was Ghost that decided to call. Can I actually write English? The answer is no. By himself, alright. I'd almost like to just start wandering around and see if I can stumble into him, but... We'll see. 160 yards. If I can't get that, I don't deserve to have an albino white tail in my lodge. Fortunate, fortunately for me, I can't get that. Can ghosts die of old age? I don't think so. We're all dropouts here? You're right. <laughs> uh, do you plan to come out west to hunt deer or elk? I've been accruing preference points in Wyoming for such a hunt in the future. What's up, cheese? So what do we think? Is this guy going to be like 81% for no reason and would have been a four star if we had the time? Or is he going to be like 55%? I'm just happy he's even. What a shot. Right in the pelvis. That's what we're looking for. 68%. So he, he would have been three star at his peak, but I can live with a two star that we didn't know the age of. And, alright, so here's the thing. Basically, we spooked him, assuming that we did spook him, and we almost had to have. We should have spooked him north. So let's just kind of wander out here. If we can spot him in the distance, cool. If not, we'll just change the time and, you know, not spook things by screwing up albino whitetail this time. Try to shoot the ATV? Uh, Mel and I actually did that in our Cape Buffalo video a couple weeks back. If you want to check that out, or do you mean try to shoot the one because it's 1,200 yards away? I don't think anything will happen. What's well, a good map for a beginner on Call of the Wild? I mean, Leighton Lakes and Hirschfelden are base game maps, and therefore the missions are set up, like, for a beginner. So you can look at it from that perspective. Te Aroa is really beginner friendly because all the animals are relatively small and you can actually take everything ethically with your starting weapons. That's another pretty beginner friendly one in that sense. Can you kill the melanistic fox on this purge? I don't think so. I know for sure you can't, you're not like supposed to through the missions. I don't know if there's a chance it roams around like this red deer does, but I think by now somebody would have gotten it. Getting on with Hunter now, nice. 
waiting for one twig snap or something like that to kind of give us a direction. I don't know what it is, but all these trees in the distance kind of render white until you look through the uh, binoculars and that's kind of throwing me off. So if he's spooked from there, you'd kind of imagine he's somewhere up in these hills. Find tracking this game so hard, but it's fun. Yeah, I enjoy that it's more realistic. Um, Exodus, thank you for the super chat. Appreciate that. Should I buy away the hunter? And if I should, what could I do to get good? I mean, the thing about that is, like, it's always going to be a matter of personal preference. Like, if you, you know, if you're watching the stream and you think you'd be interested in a game like this, if you're looking for a more simulator type hunting game, there's maybe a little bit more slow paced. I think this would be a good game for you. Um, what could you do to get good? Frankly, just playing the game, and I know that sounds dumb, but you learn a lot in this game with experience. Making mistakes and learning from those mistakes is what has gotten me to this point. I've shot a lot of things that I shouldn't have shot, basically to, at a very basic level. The main way you try to get trophies in this game is by managing your herds. You want to take out animals with weak genetics and leave animals with high genetics uh, that will cause more high genetic animals to spawn. Higher genetics mean when they reach maturity, they'll have the biggest possible racks. Anyway, I shot a lot of stuff that when they were young, I took them out and they would have potentially been a trophy, but you learn that way and you learn what to shoot and what not to shoot. That looked... <laughs> didn't look like red deer antlers, but... Was it just a white tail? A white tail? Get it? Oh! Found oh, no. him! Yeah, that looks kind of insane. Uh, Snakehead, thank you for the super chat. Just trying to watch where he gets to as much as I can. The Alaskan drawing results came in last Friday. I got drawn for a doll sheep and a cow bison. Dude, nice! How's the bison hunt work? Is it just any cow bison or do you have to is it like one without a calf big meal I think he turned back around and went that way I'm following the sounds of the twigs and rocks and everything else uh, PJ thank you for the super chat as well favorite gun away the hunter years of the 243 I haven't used the 243 in a while I'm going backwards here I think so um I think my favorite gun is probably this Dyer SM12, which is most likely what we're going to use to try to take out Ghost here. Maybe I should call him in and try to get him close, but I'll still use the gun. Thousand yard shot? I could attempt that, but I want a screenshot of him. Some Sika up there and some Whitetail. Alright, so we figure he is about 300 yards down that way. Which you like better? Uh, Way the Hunter or Call of the Wild? The games are so different, I don't know that it's necessarily fair to, like, compare them. And this answer won't be satisfactory, but... It, like, it literally depends on the day. There's times, like, especially during hunting season in real life, where I don't care too much about Way the Hunter because I'm getting that real experience that Way the Hunter does a decent job of delivering in the off-season. This time of year, like, when it's not hunting season, I'm way more interested in Way the Hunter, and I might even prefer to play Way the Hunter over Call of the Wild, because I'm missing that real experience. I didn't even think of that, K-Flow. It would be the SM-12, wouldn't it? Alright, we're gonna start crouching. He should be... somewhere down here. Now, where exactly? Probably in the trees. Hi. Good. Well, they might spook him, we'll see. I think best case scenario, either we spot him, or if we get down here too far and can't see him, I'm just gonna use the collar and see if he responds. What's up, Rusty? How's it going, man? 
I just don't know how likely a response is. It's so dense down here. So those are all whitetail. I'd almost be looking for, like if we spooked him. Oh, yep, there he, there he is. I'd almost be looking for sound analysis that were going elsewhere. Thank God Shadow's in my way and I can't use my mouse to watch him. All right, uh, he went somewhere up into there. He is living up to the name of Ghost right now. All right, I'm gonna try to go up and around and spot him. Do this where it makes a little bit more sense. Calling it Warthog 2.0? Nah, he's got no chance. He's dead this time. He's not spooking one more time. Could have five star Mountain Goat yesterday. 99.9%. .9%. Dang, nice. Any hopes or wishes for the map after Matsuriki? I'm wanting a Central American desert map like Rancho. A Rancho like map would be pretty cool. Um, I want a snow map in this game, personally. I'd also be all for a desert map, so. I definitely would not complain if they did that, but like a um, White Rhyme Ridge in Classic, that type of thing. I think that's him right there. All right, Ghost, your ghostly ways are over. I gotta come call you in. Please shoot something a thousand yards plus. If there's something that gives us the opportunity, we can try it. Like there's a Whitetail 700 yards out that way. Who is Shadow? That would be our dog who thinks she's a cat. Can you get 100% genetics? Uh, I don't know if you can in random spawns. The... Without spoiling, the mission animal in Tickamoon Plains is 100%. I won't tell you what it is in case you haven't done that. Muskox would be pretty cool. Yeah, I still don't know if they could do Muskox well, because like you look at how they did Himalayan Tar, and I think they did a really good job. If you look up... Himalayan tar, they're more, or, or at least some of them are more kind of shaggy. I would say they, the way that they did the fur on the tar in, on this map, is almost like, fluffy. Does that make sense? I don't think you could get away with that with muskox, I don't think it would look right. I think, like I said, as far as the tar go, I think they nailed it. Ghost is 100%? Is he? Okay. Oh, now you make a sound, when I already know where you are, thanks. Got my first five star totally out of the blue yesterday. Was doing the find a two star moose for the private swamp and Nez Perce and just stumbled on him. Nice. Five star moose are, I think, underrated. I feel like everybody focuses on, you know, the deer and, you know, other maps that have come out. Cape Buffalo, Caribou, all these sorts of things. A nice five star western moose. Top tier. Someone showed me a moose they shot with 100%? Okay. Right about at the distance at which he might come in. If they did a summer season for muskox, it could work. Are there is their fur much shorter then? Nice. All right, we'll find ourselves a little spot. We're gonna get some photos of him when he comes in, and then we're gonna try to blast him. Moose was your first five star. I I think mine was mule deer. It was. I, I For a second, I couldn't remember, but... T'was mule deer. The fur is shorter. I'm gonna have to look up summer season muskox. I've never seen one. Got a 99.99% white tail on Nez Perce. Scored 500. But that makes me think it maxes at 99.99. I mean, assuming the one Mel's talking about wasn't hacked, then apparently they can get to 100. It's gotta be absurdly rare, though. What I need him to do is call when he's close to us. Because that would be insane. When he's in camera range. And I'm not cool. I haven't done all the Transylvania missions. So my camera range is 75 meters or whatever instead of 150. But if we could get him to call, that would be insane. First five star was a Kudu. They're still one of my favorites. They're, they're absurdly impressive. Remember my first diamond, but blanking on first five star? I think it's because like, you know, yeah, they have a score, but I don't think anybody pays much attention to the score unless it's a perfect 500. 
Is that ghost? This is ghost. We may have spooked him twice. He was uh, being rather ghostly in his ways of escaping, but got him figured out now. As long as he keeps on coming in, which looks like we're going to be okay. I'm going to scoot just a little further forward just to be in a better position. Killed a 91% one-star adult grader kudu. The good thing I would say on Tickamoon, like, there's a lot of high genetic animals generally and a lot, a lot of high genetic kudu. So you should be fine. You'll find plenty more. Should be turning back. Ah, just, as soon as I put the collar away, he turned back for looking over his shoulder. Love the sheer mass of the five-star racks for the red deer. They're pretty darn insane. I, I can't lie. Decent place for high fitness hogs. Um, I've had a couple of four stars up here. Haven't had a five star yet, but I also haven't really hardly managed them. Almost into range where we can get some photos. When will the stream be over? Probably after we take out this guy. By the time that happens and we get back to the lodge and all that stuff, it'll be at least beyond the two hour mark, which is what we typically go for. Is this the last mission? This actually isn't even a mission. It's kind of a cool, like, Easter egg thing. Basically, he just free roams on the map. I think he's effectively ageless. I don't think he can ever die of old age. I could be wrong about that. But, to the best of my knowledge, it's just kind of something you're supposed to eventually stumble into. I just already knew it existed. Prone? We should be fine crouched. The, uh, the way that spooking things in this game works is all about movement, which is kind of realistic. We start aging the albino stag on Transylvania. We'll see. I don't know whether to do the albino bison on Aurora Shores or the, uh, the stag there on Transylvania. I need you to call. Oh, I just accidentally timed that beautifully, didn't I? All right. So, uh, Red Deer Rex might not suffer from that. Well then, I wish these bushes weren't really in the way, but I'm going to be taking some screenshots for a moment here. <laughs> this might this might be a little bit of a lengthy segment of the stream, but kind of a requirement. The thing that sucks right now is ear is clipping through his rack. So what I'm oh that branch came down here. What I'm gonna do is pause and unpause. Put the other way around, unpause and pause. That's what I wanted. Because I doubt we will ever see anything quite like that again. Should I take one like this? <laughs> I want one at this angle. That looks a little goofy. Let me unpause and repause again. Is he going to call again? Should have done that faster. Was he had the same rack as the cutscene? In the cutscene, he looks like a four star to me. He has that candelabra rack. That's the best way I can kind of describe it. If he calls one more time, I'll go to the thing again. But we got some good photos. Looks derpy straight on. They always seem to. I don't know why. I might. So the screenshot I took in the thumbnail, that red deer's probably. I don't know. 20 yards away? I might get one screenshot of aiming down sights at him. Just because, again, this is a one-time thing. Best area for caribou? Honestly, the, they can kind of be big anywhere because there's no private land for caribou on Aurora Shores. I don't know that there is necessarily a best spot. Absolute king of a red deer? Without a doubt. So I'm going to aim here. I'll let him clear that brush. I'm not going to get too fancy with this and let him come, like, super, super close. Yep, I'm not on pause. But basically, I want one kind of cool one. I don't know what angle's better. I feel like that looks weird from Riverside, but... Let me see. If he goes... Oh, I think he sees us. 
Well, I'd say it's time. I really wanted to do the land call for a photo, so I wanted that heart shot, but we'll make do. Is there a different fur type? I think it's just considered white, which white red deer do exist. I think it's a strain of like leucism or whatever it's called, like a leucistic red deer. But he's not technically an albino. Like he has like a black nose, you'll notice. You'll nose tist. I don't know. All right, if we go further on this, kind of, actually that works. That's one of the better, the only thing that sucks, because we had to do that, the depth of field, we can't really blur the background well, but that's okay. It does make him look giant, and I would say that's a decent percentage of the point. All right, let's find out. I'm curious if he's the same for everybody. Right in the heart, 29 yards away. So we definitely could have taken him with a bow, but I'm happy to take him with a gun. Pretty cool photos, 100% as expected. Yeah, 499.9. That's what Kyla said he uh, he was for her too, and that annoyed her. Good time to show up, indeed. I didn't even look. Did it say white in the harvest screen? Are there albino New Zealand red deer? Uh, so I was talking to Mel about that earlier here in the stream. She says the devs have said that there are, but we think they're bugged because no one has posted one, and surely somebody would have gotten one by now. All right, so we need February 19th. That would be Ghost. Cool. This is where you need albinos, though. Even like a three-star albino or whatever would look huge. Is that time clipping just the tiniest bit? Oh, no. <sighs> Hang on. That's going to bother me forever. So I got to change it back out. Uh, let's go this one. That. And then goes there. So we're not clipping. That does show you, like, even though the antlers are super similar, they're not exact because this one does not clip. All right, and then other red deer. Been waiting for an additional five-star red deer beyond that. Ghost would look cool here, but I think we have to full body mount him because he is technically a rare. What's the difference? Just a little bit, like, pose-wise? Not bad. Not bad at all. So pretty cool too, the missions deliver Ghost obviously, though he's technically more of like an Easter egg, not a mission animal. The five star sandbar. And that really kind of helped complete this section of the lot. There's a lot obviously still to add and between our melanistic fallow, which by the way, my intent is for him to be right there. We've got that mount in there with the tar and the chamois. The feral goat, we need another five star, maybe one of the ones that we spotted today can be in that spot. But I like it. Why would they not make the ceiling taller? I don't know. I feel like, you know, there's there's a bunch of different things you can do here. Um, you can do like elk, you can do boar, fallow, um, if we go down this way, seek a deer, sandbar. There's lots of options, but I have to think it would be an expectation that red deer are going to be put here because they're amazing on this map. They definitely should have made those beams just a tiny bit taller or even like this, like that pose of a red deer a little shorter, the platform a little shorter, any of such things. But it's the exact same frame, just the biggest ones have extra time length. Yeah, I guess that's what I mean. I don't know if I said that very well, but anyway. It's dead common. How weird. Put the albino whitetail up. Ooh, thank you. Hang on. I will come back. We need the full view of him. So inside the here would be neat. But do I want to have him there? What's back here? This mount I think is just like individual animals. Why does it? Oh, okay. I thought it was saying we didn't have that one. We'll do him there for now. Just a nice little two star mature. Didn't even get to watch a mage or anything. Just showed up today as a two-star. But we'll take it. Something weird going on with this back leg. Well, I don't know. If we end up moving him or whatever, it will probably be to right inside the door. You got an albino whitetail? Yeah, literally. Because we knew that Ghost existed where he was supposed to be, 
we were going to get him, and there was an albino whitetail right, like, at the spot that we fast traveled to, so it worked out pretty darn good. Even the two stars look like trophy bucks? 100% agree. That's why, you know, I was happy to take him. Because he was a mature and Whitetail only lived to be eight, there's no telling how long he would have lived. I think he was 68%, so we probably would have gotten one more year out of him, maybe one more star rating, but two star and pretty even looking, it works just fine for me. So anyway, pretty cool to come and do the missions. I always enjoy doing them live on stream. It's much more fun to do them that way, I think, than in videos. Just makes for a nice chill couple of hours. And they do a pretty good job of it, like, right about two hours, mission's done, couple of trophies added to the lodge, and a little bonus, one of the albino whitetail. And I think on that note, that is gonna officially do it for the stream. So, as always, thank you guys for watching that, thanks for hanging out, thanks for all the support today, and I will see you in tomorrow's video, back on Call of the Wild, going to Verhunga Savannah with a couple of pretty cool trophies. Bye!